J-Mac was back in 2022 for his sophomore season with the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series, but this one brought some changes. After earning the Kevin Gobrecht Rookie of the Year Award last year in the Casey Kane Racing Number no. 9, James McFadden took Trusty Justy, Woodman, and Red Cat Rob with him to the Roth Motorsports 83 this year. Things started off strong in February, as McFadden was one of four drivers to finish top 10 during all three nights of Volusia's Dirt Car Nationals. After that, though, only one podium finish followed over the next three months as the team continued to try and gel. Business picked up in June and July when they rattled off three runner-up finishes in three weeks. But the sting of heartbreaking losses at Houston Speedway stuck out the most, as McFadden led the white flag lap of the $100,000 to win High Bank Nationals, but saw Sheldon Hodenshield drive away with the glory in stunning fashion. He was a back-to-back -back podium finisher at the Ironman 55, and appeared to be on his way to that elusive first win during the Sage Fruit Skagit Nationals until a broken shifter cable stuck another dagger right through the hearts of the 83 team. Brent Ventura joining the team on the road trip brought welcome change in the fall and finally led to that first victory lane trip of the season. Topping the 65th race of the year and ending an 81 race drought, the Australian was finally a World of Outlaws winner once again on October 15th at Kansas Lakeside Speedway after outdueling Giovanni Selzy and Logan Schuhart in an exciting 30 lapper. Although he only scored the one win to his two last year, J Mac stepped up in the consistency department with a career best 22 top five finishes this year, ending up seventh in the championship chase once again. The pride of Alice Springs Northern Territory has already signed on for the 2023 campaign with Roth Motorsports and will be back with the full support of Toyota Racing Development Power under the hood. He'll head home down under for a winter of racing in hopes of staying sharp for his third full-time season with the greatest show on dirt.